Hey guys, welcome back to CHQ. I thought I'd dive into a quick review video, um, doing a little bit of a modification to my garage, a bit of a lockdown project, if you will, trying to turn it into a arcade, barcade, if you will. Um, I do want to give a, a bigger review of the room when I'm done and all the little bits and pieces that I've added to it um, over the last few months but I wanted to jump in and take a quick look at this uh, this is the Legends Gamer Pro from At Games which I think is going to be a great addition to the the room and I think it looks absolutely um, gorgeous and yeah let's have a quick look at it shall we so the Gamer Pro is like a big arcade control stick, like a fight stick. Um, we have eight buttons for each player. It is controlled by the streaming puck or core as it likes to be called. And uh, actually has pinball buttons on the side so you can actually play uh, pinball games. Um, just if we go around to the side here, they sit on um, each side so you can sort of straddle the, the, the deck and play um, pinball games. The, uh, Gamer Pro has the ability to um, 90 degree switch the the video output so you can play um, if you've got a vertical monitor and things like that you can put things up. One thing that really bugged me and a lot of people have um, mentioned it is this um, one foot HDMI lead which for a TV mounted to the wall was completely useless but thankfully I keep every cable that I've ever gotten so I can get around that. Once it was all set up, I just hid it behind this little um, pixel display uh, screen that I had and hooked everything up. So once everything's wired up to the TV and powered, we just power on the control deck, the, the sticks themselves, and we get her to uh, connect Bluetooth, uh, connect via Bluetooth to the streaming puck. Easy to be done, just hit the uh, connect button on the streaming puck. Um, it acts as like a multi-function button, so one click will scroll through the, the list of devices that I can find, and then if we hold down the button, it'll start to pair. So you have to do it twice, one for player one, one for player two, just so that it can identify uh, which is which. Simple enough, once it's done with player one, just scroll through again, there's player two, and we just repeat the process. And there we are. That is both controllers all set up, and we'll just sign into Arcade Net, which I'll explain in a little bit. It's kind of like their streaming service. So these are the games that are all preloaded. There's 150 games uh, that come with it. There's a mixture of arcade games and a few uh, sort of home consoles, uh, Mega Drive slash Genesis, that kind of idea. So as you go through, you may see some uh, favourites. I've got a, a few on my list there that I really want to get into. But before we do any of that, what we'll do is we'll jump in and upgrade the firmware. As I know, there was one that came out quite recently, and I just want to be up to the latest version to get rid of any known bugs, known issues, that kind of idea. So simple enough, because we're connected via the Wi-Fi, just go in, hit the, hit the, uh, the version checking and let it go through its uh, check. Now that it's found it, we'll be able to download and install it onto the onto the device. Now it'll take a few minutes, so we'll just skip forward on this. Lovely stuff, so firmware is now upgraded. We'll just restart the control deck and the, the puck and we'll get into some exploring the, of the, the games really. So the startup takes a few moments, which is a wee bit longer than I would have liked, but you can look past it. There we are, we're back into the game. So like I said, there's 150 games uh, preloaded on the here, and we've split up into um, different little things to make it easier to check. So we've got um, the various publishers there, Data East, Disney, uh, Tato, which just got added in the recent update, I believe. So they used to have things like ColecoVision and things like that, that got removed. And we'll put in a whole bunch of games for for Tito, which is ones that I used to play, like back in my youth, you know, Bubble Bobble, things like that. Um, just 
just scrolling through here to see what we've got there. New New Zealand story. I never played that in the arcade, but I had it on the Commodore 64, and that was a great game. Oh, Operation Thunderbolt and Operation Wolf. I played them in the, the arcade. They were cracker. So yeah, there's a few games here that I'm really looking forward to getting my hands on there. <laughs> there's Space Invaders, obviously. We can get a few games of that going. So as we go through, we'll be able to sort of jump in and you know, pick our, our favourites, get them added in. Um, going back to the, the side menu here, we can jump between the arcade ones. There's the Genesis, which is Mega Drive and then um, other consoles as well so you've got aladdin gargoyles which i never knew they had a, a game for which is class gadget twins i remember hiring that game out at one stage that was great fun so we'll jump back to uh here this is the leaderboard it's something that um i'm very interested to have a look at so uh, a load of the games have different leaderboards that you can uh, go online with so once you get a high score you're able to upload it to a global leaderboard if you scan that little QR code that will take you to the um, the top 50 so this is jumping into Bubble Bobble which I absolutely loved again I had that on the, the Commodore 64 as well as playing it in the the arcade and I would say back then I was pretty good at it I don't remember if I ever completed it but I'm interested to give that a, a proper go. This is one of the uh, the Genesis titles, so this is <laughs> Zombies Ate, Ate My Neighbours. So anyone who knows this game will remember it. It's actually coming out on the um, the, the Switch in oh, not too long. Maybe it's just come out or it's just about to come out. But I remember playing this with uh, with my brother. Again, that was a great game to, to, to sit and play with. It's a simple enough we game, just run around, shoot the, the zombies and save the the NPCs, kind of the... For some reason it reminds me of Toe Jam and Earl, even though it has nothing to do with them. And now I'm just going into random games. I vaguely remember playing Spin Masters, I think. There was, there, there was an arcade machine at the, the local leisure centre that had games like that, which was just great fun. So there, there's a whole bunch of little hidden treasures for uh, people who have sort of remember some older ones so to close out uh this is a bit of footage that i grabbed off a sneaky live stream that uh i did the other night um the device itself has the ability to live stream to facebook twitch and fit uh youtube so i wanted to give it a go because I, I do want to do a few little live streams from it here's bubble bobble which is a fantastic game I love that and it's got the leaderboard so i'm trying to break into the the top 50. um one thing to note i find this during the live stream so there's the ability to add a scan line filter which gives it the uh the look of like the old crts um a nice little touch not something i think i would use but it's nice that they've got it in there um so my initial thoughts on this device are it's fantastic it's definitely worth it uh, i don't know if i would get the full um arcade machine you know that's 800 quid i don't think i would go i don't think there's enough um added functionality between this and the the, the full arcade machine so i'm very very happy with this and i can't wait to see what else they they add to it Thanks very much for hanging around with me today, guys, and I will see you again very soon. Oh, and watch out for the live streams. They're coming. Promise.